welcome. And as many of you know, at the sound of the trumpet, that means it's time to begin. Please put your hands together and welcome our host and presenter from thestockswish.com. Please welcome Melissa Armo. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kevin, with Online Trader Central. And thanks so much, everyone, for coming. As Kevin said, my name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh. And today I'm going to talk about making $1,000 per day, taking one trade per day. Usually what I do when I get up in the morning is I try to find the best stock that I want to trade each day. And my goal is to only trade one stock and one pick per day. So that's what I do. I'm a day trader, for those of you that don't know me. And I also like to focus in one direction first. I prefer to focus to the downside first. If I don't find a good short, though, then I will look at a good long. And today we're gonna to talk about one short and one long. So if you have any questions, you can just write it in the box down there. I'll see as we go along. Or you could email me at melissathestockswish.com after the webinar. If you would like more information, you can just contact me there. If you would like a trial to the room, you can trial the room this week, Tuesday through Friday, and you can be in the room and check out my trades and get my trading calls. You can just email info at thestockswish.com if you would like a trial. A lot of people who have not been in the room would want to come in and see and see the trade picks I have for the week and see how I trade. What I usually do is prepare before the open, before 930, what stock I want to trade, trade between 930 and 10 a.m., and then I'm done. And then I run the room from 10 to 11, and I kind of just look at what the market is doing and review for the following day and review any trades we did that day. And that's what I do in the room. So if this is you, maybe this is why you're here today. Is this you and you're trading? You kind of feel a little bit boxed in. You're exhausted. You just don't know where to go anymore. You know, you don't know what to do, what to trade. If this is how you feel on any given day, don't despair because you can pull yourself up out of the situation. You can do it. You've got to be practical. We were talking about this in the room today and we had a great discussion. For those of you that are not on my LinkedIn, you should go to LinkedIn and add me to LinkedIn. I wrote a good article on LinkedIn today. You've got to get over the addictions that cause you to lose. Okay, you see this guy here, he has a lot of problems. He has a lot of addictions actually. People that lose in the market tend to do what? Overtrade. It's like an addiction, like they're playing Ms. Pac-Man or something. Less is more in the market. If you are focused on one stock, and not only that, even on doing one trade, you can make $1,000 a day on average. Some days you will make more. Some days you will not trade. Just $1,000 a day is an average, okay? Because some days there won't be anything that meets your criteria, you won't trade. But then other days you might make four grand or two, okay? But a lot of people kind of are like this guy. They're like doing a million trades a day. They're trading till four o'clock, which I don't do, and they're taking too many trades. It's like an addiction, okay? They're like addicted to trading. And, and really, that is not how you become successful. So how can you make $1,000 a day? You need a plan of action just like anything else you would set out to do. Balancing your bank account, starting a business, anything where you say, what am I gonna do to get to this goal? Buying a house, all these practical things that you set out to do in life, you need a plan. How are you gonna get there? Okay, maybe you wanna buy a boat or a car, go on a vacation. Is one trade enough? Yes. And this is what I was kind of alluding to earlier, less is more in the market. Because first of all, and this is just, again, practicality, if you're taking less trades, you're gonna lose less. That's first of all. Second of all, your commissions will be less, so your expenses and costs will be less too. Third of all, your, your focus will be very, very defined if you're only looking at fewer stock picks. If, you're, if you get up in the morning and you look at every single solitary stock that's out there in the market, you'll, it, it'll be like a, a, you'll go crazy, okay? Look at only a couple of things, but you gotta figure out which things to look at. And again, it's the idea of taking only one trade. So how can you do it using one strategy? And it's the one strategy I, I created and I trade, and it's the only thing I do. It's the only thing I do, it's the only thing I need to do. 
It doesn't matter if you go long or short. You can use my strategy for both, although like I said, I prefer to short. You can also use it for options. You can also use it for overnights and swing trades. But I prefer to day trade. That is what I do. Although this year I have really started doing some options. But again, it's about picking the right ones. So how can you do it? It takes more than hard work to get to this level of success as a day trader to be able to earn an average of $1,000 a day. It takes ingenuity and a detailed plan of action to trade. And the number one key ingredient to becoming successful as a trader is having a specific strategy that can offer you reliable and consistent profits on a regular basis. This type of trading success and financial success in the market takes having a focus. It's really not that big of a deal to make $1,000 a day on average. It's the fact that many, many people just don't because they don't have the focus. So having one focus is a really very a practical idea if you think about it. Uh, really a lot of things that are the basis of my thought process and the reason behind my success in my trading are very practical. Many, many traders are not practical in their choices and maybe this is why they fail or they have the addictions as we talked about. But you've got to start thinking clearly, be practical and get out of this addiction type of thing where you are trading, trading, trading. Now, as I was saying here earlier, $1,000 a day on average, what does that mean? There's some days that I don't trade. Like I didn't trade today. There was nothing good. There was one gap down, it was GME. Okay, this was it. And I do gaps, I'm gonna talk about gaps in a minute. But the stock closed the night before here at like $30 in some cents and opened the next day, which was this morning at like $29 in some cents. So I looked at this gap in the morning. It wasn't a lot today, it was a Monday after a holiday. I knew the market would be slow. But there was stuff to look at. It just wasn't good, okay? So I didn't end up doing anything. Again, be practical. How are you gonna make money if there's nothing good to do or low volume? You can't. So if the addiction comes over you and you just wanna press a button, chances are you'll lose if there's nothing good. The idea of making $1,000 a day consistently is average. You're averaging it out. Not losing too much, not losing too often, Consistently making a comma day, I call them, where it's a thousand or more, but some days you make more than that, and then it averages out to where you can make the 20 grand a month. Anyways, I didn't do this today. It wasn't a short and it wasn't a long. I know it rallied, but this wasn't a good buy either. Okay. If you don't have a system to follow each day, you are shoved around in the market like you're in a big crowd. <laughs> Pretend you're in like a, on a political rally or something right now. You're getting shoved around in all the turmoil. It's kind of really what happens to many traders in the market when they don't know what to follow, don't have a focus. And this is how people end up over trading. You've got to work smarter, not harder. Now, how do you do this? Well, again, focus. The number of successful people in the market is small in comparison to the number of people in the market. Remember the crowd, okay? What is the reason for this? People don't have a focus. They need a focus to make money. If you're only taking one trade per day, that's focus. It's like a it's like a laser. If you are only looking to trade one direction of the day, whether long or short, like you pick it, pick it before the open. I'm gonna go long today, or I'm gonna go short today. Doesn't matter. Just pick one. Okay, one direction, one stock, one focus. That's another focus. Okay. And if you're only trading one strategy, which is all that I do, my strategy is called Golden Gaps, we'll talk about that in a minute, then the rate, the, the, the rate of success versus failure, you're going to succeed more. Because if you're only doing one trade in one direction, you've got a strategy that tells you if it's good, the pick, which is the Golden Gap rating system, I'll talk about that in a minute, you have a high odds of success. Again, practical, practical, all right? And if you think about it, like just, just to say you take 2,000 shares. 2,000 shares, here I'm gonna write it in the room, times 50 cents equals what? It's $1,000. Oops, I don't know why that went up there, hold on. Does everyone see that? 4,000 shares times, and this could be of any stock, all right, 25 cents equals $7.50. So 
So do you have any idea how many stocks move at least 50 cents in a day? A, like, I can't think of one that doesn't. I'm not talking about penny stocks. Forget the pennies. I don't trade penny stocks. Almost every stock out there moves at least 50 cents a day. And of course, 25 cents is, is even less than that, okay? So do you see how this conceptually, again, getting to the practical, 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 2,000 shares and a 50 cent move is a, is a grand. 4,000 shares and a 25 cent move is a grand. That's it, that's all you need to do. And there are many days where you can take a tr position in something and it goes more than 50 cents. It could go 60 cents, it could go a dollar. There are some stocks that I trade that move two, three dollars, some more. I'm not talking about Amazon and Google. I'm talking about stocks that are in a price range from, you know, three, four dollars up to 65. And that's a wide range, but that's really the range that I play. But just do you understand here? Wrap your head around this. This is how you do it. But you've got to get the direction right, the entry, size yourself correctly, and know what to do. Know which stock to pick to do it. But conceptually, practically, this idea of making a thousand dollars a day is such a huge mental leap for some traders because we're like, ugh, because we're losing, okay? But it's, it's really not that hard. It's really not that hard. Almost every stock in the market moves 50 cents in a day. There's no reason that people can't conceptually make a grant. Now, obviously you have to have the buying power to take the size, but 2,000 shares isn't like crazy. 4,000 might be a lot for some people, depending on the stock price, okay? Now, let's get going. The number one reason why people want to take my class is that they honestly have no direction in their trading. And I teach a class. I teach what I trade. It's the only thing that I trade. Okay? And people desperately need some kind of direction. My Golden Gap course gives people a sense of direction. What to do? What to do tomorrow? What are they supposed to do? My class gives people just one direction, not 50 directions. And, and, and like I said, 50 directions, you're not gonna make any money. In fact, you'll lose. Not only will you not make $1,000 a day, you'll lose. One direction for their day, one pick, one play, and one trade. And that's what I teach people how to do, and that's how I trade in the room. And one golden gap each day. That's all people need to trade successfully. And I just showed you the move the stock has to make is not that big to make a thousand bucks, okay? One good quality golden gap that rates over 20 points, this is my system I'm going to talk about in a minute, is all people need to make money consistently in the market. After trading my system for eight years, that's how long I've been trading, I'm teaching a lot of people, I know what I figured out works because people are doing it. Some people are, a lot of people that actually are trading that I taught aren't in the room with me. They're doing it by themselves. They don't need me. It is amazing to me the simplicity of only needing one thing to be successful trading. And yet this is what escapes people. It escapes people, but I'm trying to show you the practicality of it. It's the number one thing people need to be successful. It's one of the reasons I'm successful and one of the reasons I've taught people to be successful too. So how do you make $1,000 a day day trading? Well, I just showed you the numbers very practically. 50 cents and 2,000 shares is 1,000. 4,000 shares and 25 cents is $1,000. Now, how are you going to be able to take that size in something and know what to do when there's hundreds of stocks? You've got to find what stock to trade. You find it with the strategy. My strategy is called Golden Gaps. I'm going to show you some charts in a minute. You pick the best gap on the day. How do you do it? I have a rating system. It's a checklist. Okay? You learn that in the class. Then you use a risk amount between four or 500 in the trade. And then you take an entry in the best gap on the one minute chart. Like I said, I trade between 9.30 and 10 a.m. Eastern time. And also you do not trade when there's no good gaps. Like for example, I didn't trade today, okay? So this limits our losses. So you focus, 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 one trade per day. Now, what is a golden gap? I was kind of talking about this. I'm gonna show you some charts. But a golden gap is a gap that moves in the direction of the gap. It is called a golden gap because institutional traders and investors are making and creating the gap. A golden gap rates 20 points or more per the 26 point rating system. So I created this checklist, but the stock has to meet the criteria of the checklist. It doesn't have to get a perfect 26. It has to get 20 or more, and you're doing it in the direction of the gap. So something gaps up, 
okay? You buy it if it rates 20 or more. If it gaps down, you short it if it rates 20 or more. And we're gonna look at both, like I said, a, a long and a short today. Now, in the case of a bullish golden gap, okay, institutions are buying the stock. They're buying the stock on the day. So you have buying that comes into the gap, and then the stock was higher in the day. You figure this out before the open, so you know to get in it on the open, or quickly after the open in the first 30 minutes. In the case of a bearish gap, institutions are selling or shorting the stock. Therefore, the stock moves lower in the trading day, and if something's going to drop on the day, then you need to short it to make money. This is why, though, I prefer bearish gaps. I will tell you I prefer to short, because gaps that gap down have two things happening in them to create the gap. They have selling and the shorting. When something is gaps up, sometimes you have short covering, but for the most part, you have mostly buying. But with something gapping down, you've got selling and shorting. So you get a quicker, faster, more panic move, okay? Now, who makes golden gaps? Who makes them in the market? Traders, people, what? Well, there are traders that trade pre-market and post-market. That's when gaps are happening. But gaps are created with large institutional money. That is what makes the gap. The professional gaps that happen and play out in stocks are formed by one thing and one thing only, large institutional money. What do I mean? Hedge funds, banks that are buying the market. They're really the people that move the market. And therefore, you need a way that will help you pick the correct direction to play the gap and confirm that the large money will flow with it by having a formula to rate and qualify the gap to tell you if it's going to set up right. That's what you need to know ahead of time. It doesn't do any good if it's already gone. But having a formula to rate and qualify the gap, you get confirmation and conviction that the large institutional money is on your side, and then you play it. Gaps are an event and create a sense of urgency. Thus, an action is being forced by participants of the stock. Meaning if you're long a stock and it gaps down, okay, if you're long a stock and it gaps down, there's a sense of urgency. And you got to be able to pinpoint that before the market opens so you can short it. And this is why gap trading is incredibly powerful. Trading gaps is a powerful and profitable way to trade because you're trading on the side of power money, okay? Now, as I was saying, what do I mean by institutional money? I think the market is a good example of this. The market is a great example of this because the market is gonna make a new high. I'm talking about the S&P, all right? The S&P is gonna make a, a new high this year and we'll talk about an option trade a little bit later in the webinar today, but. The market's being bought, and it's something that a lot of people really didn't see well earlier in the year because the market had a drop off, a steep drop off, okay? A very steep drop off. But ultimately, the market held, the market held the uptrend, and institutions now have been buying it ever since that drop off. The only thing that would make the move of the market of the S&P, which was at 180-ish, 181-ish earlier in the year, to rally up over 200, which is over 20 points, it was over a 20 point move it did like in a in a two week period is with institutional buying and that's the kind of stuff that moves stocks and it's very important to be able to read charts correctly if you trade based on technical analysis by reading what institutions are doing in a stock because the only way you're going to get the trend right in something if you go to look at a chart and you get the institutional uh, directional bias incorrectly and you get in an overnight trade, like there's some people that are short the market, you're gonna get burned. That's how people lose their accounts, okay? Now I'm not talking about day trade, I'm talking about overnights, but either way, it's the same philosophy that you gotta look what the institutions are doing to, to make money and be profitable. Now here's a good example of a short. VRX, well this was back in the middle of March, it had a gap down, I don't remember the reason for this. I don't remember if it was news or earnings or a combination. But this is a great example of institutional money having sold the stock because I want you to look at the size of the bar. Now, over here the night before, well, first of all, for those of you who don't know what a gap is, a gap is when the stock closes is a daily chart. You can see the dates down here. When a stock closes at a certain price, whatever this was, 70 something or whatever, and opens at a different price the next day, it's a gap. It could be up or down. So this here open around 55 or 54 something or whatever, okay? Anyways, look at the low. This is crazy. The stock fell.
well, basically 20 points on the day. That's a lot. That's a lot for a stock at this price point in the 50s, the 70s. That's a lot, period. That's a big move for any stock, period. All right. So what happened here? It got crushed. There was institutional selling. And this is a great example. Now, what happened? Even after this killer day, it kept going. Barely rallied. I don't know where this closed today, but look, this is about any second ready to break through this area again. Do you see this is the power of institutions, whether, whether it's to the upside or the downside, but for this, it's the downside. And again, I prefer to short because you see how this is, this is never going anywhere back up here anytime soon. It's gonna continue to drop. This was a bad, bad gap for this chart for the VRX, and it's just gonna keep going lower. So this again is the power of institutions taking hold of the stock and really pinpointing the direction and it follows through many times, okay? Very powerful. Now, how do I know that anything is even good like the VRX? I have a rating system. I get up in the morning, I rate the gap. I name my system the Golden Gap 26 point rating system because I have a checklist and I just go through it every morning. Whatever it happens to be, whatever stocks are gapping, I just go through them. And like I said, I prefer to short, but you can use a system for longs and I do teach a bullish class too. So my 26 points, again, I teach this in the class, are based on technical analysis, but it's all off the daily chart because there's tons of stocks that gap every day. Almost every single stock gaps every day, including the market. So how do you know whether to buy it or sell it? So my point system tells you what, number one, what stock is gonna have a high probability of directional bias for the entire day? Number two, what one's going to have a big move on the day? Number three, early confirmation of the bias in the move between 9.30 and 10. Four, precise entries with follow through and a good risk to reward target potential, which is what you want. And then we were talking earlier about taking 2,000 shares or something or 4,000 shares or something. I have something called a dream target. This, this surpassed any dream target I had for the day in this. I, this, I never would have thought this got to this number. As the day went on though, I saw it would, but in the morning, I mean, to think that this would go like this is crazy, but just go back in your mind. Even if you had, if you had taken 2000 shares of this, what if you had held this all the way down for a $20 move? I did not do that. I did not do that at all. I'm telling you, I didn't even know this number would even hit this number. And I like to trade the morning. This actually dropped all day. You would have had to be in this all day. But what if you learn how to do this and you have patience, more patience than I do? which is I only like to trade quick in the morning. But what if you had taken 2,000 shares of this? You knew it was a good gap. It rated per my 26 point system. You had the patience to sit all day, which I don't. What if you shorted 2,000 shares of this and got a 20 point drop? That's 40 grand. That's 40 grand. So, you know, I mean, I can go on and on and on and on and on about examples of gaps like this. Gaps that go and follow through all day and sometimes the swing trades and option trades and just go as far as the eye can see. Again, I have my own criteria and my own time frames. I like to trade in the morning and get the morning move, but you can certainly trade these things sometimes all day and you can do the overnights. Now let's look at KBH. This is a bullish gap that happened last week. Now it was a holiday week. Okay. Last week it was a holiday week and there was not a ton of volume in the market, but there were some things to do. This was one of them. So KMH closed the night before here at 13 something. Then it gapped up, gapped up to like 1380. So you could have rated this gap as a bullish gap. You're looking to see should you go long it or is it gonna fail as a long and should you short it? Anyways, it rated good enough to buy. So it was a, it was a long, okay? I don't know where this closed today, but this still has a move higher into it too. You could still be in this like it's a swing trade. Anyways, here's the one minute chart. So we're down here in the one minute chart. So you figure this out before 9.30 that you like KBH, your rates for the 26 point system, you can go long the stock. You say, okay, fine. I'm determining that institutions are gonna buy KBH today. Fine. It kind of came in really hard. This is the one minute again. This actually hit so fast I didn't get this entry. You could have gone long here. I missed it. It literally hit and just poof, went like that. 
This bar is static here. It's hard to go back. If I had taped the time live of this, it hit it and just absolutely blew. But anyways, I did go long here. And then I added more here. And then I got out of half. And then I get out of another portion. So I kind of played it easy with this on, on Thursday because it was a holiday week. But this was the best entry. I did not do it. This is the one that I did. But either way, do you see the time in here of the move? If you have taken this here at 9.35, you would have been completely out by 9.45. If you did the trade I did here at 9.40, you would be completely out by 9.45. You don't have to be in these trades long. And, and, and it's amazing. Now, this did not have the follow through in the afternoon. Again, day before the holiday week. But it could have, it could have like the VRX. And so you can see here, if you had bought this here at 1350, this went up to 1405. So that's 55 cents. If you bought this here at around 1370, it went up to 1405. That's 35 cents. Okay. So you see what I'm saying. You figure in your mind, okay, you're gonna try to make 25 cents a day or 30 cents a day or 50 cents a day, however you figure out your goals. You gotta be able to take the size and the risk though. Anyways, price of the entry, and again, this is not the first entry because I missed it. 1368, stop was 1355. I always use hard stops. What does that mean? It means that I'm not gonna lose any more than I risked in the trade. That's very important to make money consistently too. It doesn't matter, it actually doesn't even matter how much you risk, you've got to uh, use a stop in my opinion. So on 5,000 shares, it's 650 bucks. Then I added at a price above my price. Okay, so I pulled my price actually up. It was like 1374 or whatever it was. Then I took a Hazy's exit, another Hazy's exit. So profit 1715. Now, do you see here how again this is this is this wasn't even some crazy trade that ran up. I even got the entry late because the first setup blew too fast for me to get it. Either way, I was out of it quick. So this is like not even a crazy trade, like not even a big move, you know? Didn't even get the first entry and you can still make this kind of money. But, but you can if you don't know what to do. You can't if you're watching KBH to short it you can't if you don't have a method to even find KBH or know that it's good or know that it's long or know where to even enter it or put the stop even. Do you see what I'm saying? So the actual, the actual trade itself is very easy when it sets up if you know what to watch. And you also have to know what you would consider then a failure to know not to do it. And this is something else that I teach in the class. It's called a reverse whoosh. Now, does anyone have any other questions as I'm talking here? Just see. Does anyone have questions so far? We good? Anyways, that was a long. Again, I like to short, but if there's no good shorts, I do I do go long. Now here's another one. Guess what? This was a short I did back in the middle of March too, and this is following through lower too. This fell today. It fell the previous day, last Thursday and Wednesday. You could be short this. This is going to drop and break through in here and go down to a number it could have hit on the day of the gap, but it didn't. This is another good short. So it's a long-term short and also a day trade short here the day of the gap. So it closed up here at 2120, gap down here and opened to what? 1860-ish or whatever the number was. So you can get up in the morning, you rate the gap. This is GES, it's guess. I don't know why this gapped. I don't care. I'm just reading it per my system. I want to know, should I go long it? Should I short it? What? It's a short. Okay. Another, another very quick move. Stock gap down on a one minute chart. You short the stock. This was one of these weird ones where I actually, I'm going to show you the exact entry, but I got filled late. So I got filled really late into this. You see this bar here, it hit fast and I got filled into it into the selling. I let it be. I let myself play it all out and then I got out quickly. But it fell down in here. You could have even held it more. So the entry in here is what? Around 1860-ish. The low down here was like 1780. 
I did this trade and I was out by 18, which was the first target. Do you see how quick this hit in here? Again, you're in something for minutes. So this is the real entry. Again, I got filled past this, but it's 1840, uh, 1859, stops 1890. Actually, no, I have this wrong here. The risk isn't 31 cents. It's, um, oh no, that's right, 31 cents. My, my risk was more because I got filled late. Anyways, I'm 4,000 shares, it's 1240. First target's 18, but it went and went another 25 cents under this. I just didn't get that piece of it because it, this is a target. Anyways, profit on this with the exact entry is 2360. So the time in trade is four minutes. See, this is, look, by 10 o'clock every day you could be done. Okay, D has a question. How do I decide what to rate? I look at the stocks that are gapping every morning. I focus on the shorts. If I can't find any shorts at all, I'll focus on longs. I'll focus on stocks that are gapping up. You can get a scanner to find the, the gappers, D, or you just go into your platform. Every single solitary, uh, every single platform has a top 20 up list and down list. Those are stocks that are gapping or you can buy a scanner. But your platform should have that for free with the platform, okay? But you can buy another scanner if you want. I don't have a separate scanner. I use my platform. So do you see here again, just a 50, 60 cent move, and actually this went longer. I didn't, I didn't hold it till here. But this was 15 cents shy of a buck. Still in a half an hour, I mean, Actually, if you held it all the way down there, which which like I didn't, you probably would have gotten, you probably would have got out by 1780 even if you held it down in this taily thing. So you probably you the maximum you probably could have got out of this was 80 cents, and say you had 4,000 shares with 80 cents, it would have been 3,200 bucks. Again, I didn't hold it down there, but you know this is how you're averaging again to make this kind of money. So one day you don't trade, you don't make anything. One day you lose. One day you make three grand or more. One day you make 1700. But you gotta be very careful. You have to be practical about what you're watching and you can't trade when nothing is good. It's very important. Does anyone else have any questions besides D on, on GES? It was a good short and it's still lower. So, as I was saying earlier, will some trades lose? Yes. You shouldn't have more than two, three losses in a month. And if you go two days in a row and lose, something's wrong, maybe you're sick or something is off with you, just take a break. What you don't want to do is, is start to spiral out of control. And everyone has a bad week or a bad day. This is just a circle of life. But I did this racks. This was back in February. It didn't work. I lost in it. And it should have worked, but it didn't. Sometimes you'll look at something and go back and you say, I can't figure out why this didn't work at all. And there is no reason. It just doesn't work. If, if, if every trade that I took worked, I wouldn't never use a stop. I wouldn't have to assess my risk. i just risk $5,000 or take my maximum buying power in every trade I, I could take and just, you know, say la vie. But that's not reality. You have to be somewhat conservative in the sense that you're going to use a stop. You're gonna be aware of the fact that you may have trades that fail. Okay? That's part of trading. But what you need to focus on is having a system where you don't take that many trades. Only look for one good thing a day. That's how you're gonna hit these marks where you're making $1,000 a month. You're looking for 50 cents or 25 cents or a buck. You gotta know what you're going after and then the size you need to take to get it. It has to do with the right pick. You gotta get the direction right. You can't over trade. You don't trade days when there's nothing to do. And you gotta keep your losses down. You will have losses, but you gotta keep them down, okay? There's 20 trading days in a month. That's a lot. That's a lot, okay? You got a lot of days to win. There's no reason to have a, a conniption if one day you can't trade. Again, going back to the addiction, somebody in the room today said they were they were really struggling, really struggling with not trading today. And I'm like, what? He's like, you're making this hard for me, hard for you. I'm making it easy for you. I'm telling you, don't do anything today. There's nothing to do today. Don't take a trade. Why are you struggling with that? 
You see what I'm saying? This is the addiction. Some people have these addictions and as a result, then they have trouble being profitable. There's no reason for it and you gotta let it go. At least if you wanna do well, okay? So what your trading account should look like is this. Over time, it should be increasing. You should take more risk over time as you're doing well. Second quarter earnings season is starting soon, like in, you know, a week, two weeks. A lot of chance as an opportunity to make money. Okay. Now, I, I put this in the, in the webinar here. Those of you that are on my list, I sent this email out, gosh, like two months ago, where I gave a long-term spy option call to go long the market. It was a perfect call. This is a real life trader who did the class. I think he did the class in January. And he did the call I made. Actually, he ended up doing a little bit lower strike price. <coughs> he bought 500 contracts, which is essentially a half a million shares of the 240 strike September SPY calls. He paid three cents. So that's 1,500 bucks. Now on the day that that, that I, he sent me this email, they were worth six. Today, they were worth three to six. Now, what does that mean? Here, I plop this in. This is the trade that he's in. So he paid three cents. The difference between the bid and the ask today is three to six. Sell it, say he wanted to sell it today, he'd get out at four or five. You get filled in between the bid and the ask. Look, 10 went off today. Look at the size and these, a lot. Now, what does this mean? Well, this means that it's he's trying to get this up to the 240 and over it. This was whatever the market was trading at when I clipped this today, two or 343. So half a million shares, that is a lot, okay? That is a crazy, crazy, crazy amount. Now, this is an option trade. Still the same system, which is my gap system. This is how I made the call, all right? But if he had wanted to purchase the shares outright in the position that he took, he would have needed $9.7 million real cash, or he would have needed 4.875 with overnight leverage of two to one, because you get two to one in overnights. But he ended up doing the option, cheap, spent 1,500 bucks. Now, if this goes, he, so listen to me, he paid three cents. He's doubled his money right now, because it's worth more than three cents. So doubling the money is worth, worth six, okay? It's between three and six now. He's not getting out now though because his goal is not to get out now, his goal is to make a lot of money. But if, if it's worth a buck, he paid three cents. If it's worth a dollar in the option, he's gonna make 50 grand. If it goes to 250, which was one of the spy targets I gave this year, he's gonna make $500,000 having spent 1500 bucks. Now this is something above and beyond the day trading, although you can day trade options, to actually use my system to do. Like if you don't have time to sit in the trading room every day or be there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you can learn the system and do it for options. This is, this, this was an amazing call. And I'm in it. <clears throat> I'm in it, but I have a different strike price than Mike. And I paid up, because I've been in it since the end of last year. But I gave my marketing list and the room the call earlier this year. Now, I wanna go over one more thing here about this. We were talking earlier about institutional money. This is all the way out. This is going out to December 2018. I want you to look at something here. This is another number that I had in my reservoir that the S&P will go to 300. This is out two and a half years, more than two and a half, almost three. End of 2018, that's a long time away. Do you see how many contracts open interest is in this 300 strike price? This is unbelievable. First of all, most day traders are probably not even looking at this or option traders are looking at any of these things that I'm looking at, but I'm very good at this kind of stuff. This is not how I call the market long, but I will tell you that this is the kind of thing that I see that gives me 100% confirmation that my long call is correct. I made the long call before this option chain was even plopped in. This option chain was not added to December 23rd, 2015. And I made the call for the market for the people in my room and on my YouTube videos and even this 300 number way, way before December 23rd, 2015. Now this position actually was not put on the books until March 17th, I think we figured that out, or March 14th. I have to go back. Somebody looked it up in the options 
to see when this there was a large position that was taken in here. It was March of this year. But the option trade was open in December. And he was getting back to what I was saying. The point is that this is not a hedge. Now, what does this mean? This is contracts again. So this is really actually, this was as of today, this is actually 717,000 shares. It's 7,174 contracts, but it's really shares. So it's 7,117 shares of the S&P. The big position, which I knew there had to be, I knew there had to be because this was hot, because this was there was nothing in here in January, nothing in December, nothing in February, and and I and I stopped looking at these in early March, and that's why I had someone go back and check. It was a big position, it was over five thousand, which again is five hundred thousand that was taken in March. It was like March thirteenth, fourteenth, or fifteenth. I don't I don't know. I wrote down the date, but anyways, the point is this is a real position. This is not a hedge. Okay, it's so far out, so big. Okay. And the cost of the position, do you see here the difference between the bid and the ask is 26 by 38. So let's, I think it was 5,100. Let's just figure this out at 30 cents times 510,000. Actually, that's not even that bad. Not even that bad. It's only $153,000, that position cost. But it's still, you're investing that much money that far out, three years out. And you're betting that the SPY or the S&P is going to go over the strike price. You're betting that it's going to be worth more than 38 cents. Because that's what it would cost you if you wanted to pay the ass today. Although, again, you would get filled in between. You would get filled between 26 and 38. This was another great call that I made. An unbelievable call. An unbelievable call that one of my students is going to make money in. I have no idea how much money Mike is going to make. He lives in Virginia. I said, you are coming to New York and you are taking me out to dinner if you make even 100 grand in this trade. He doesn't live that far away, but it's just the point. To be able to have a student that is going to make this kind of money is really just an unbelievable story. He will make a lot of money in this trade. I have no idea if it'll be a half a million dollars. He'll make at least a dollar. Worst case scenario, he'll make 50 grand. He's probably going to make somewhere between 100 and $200,000, but he could potentially make a half a million dollars. I have no idea when the market really starts to blow. we got to watch it in the next two weeks, but it, it was a great call. A call that I could never have made if I didn't know how to read gaps. So the system that I teach is so, so practical. So practical because, because you can use it for so many things. You can day trade it. You can go long and short it. You can use it for options. You can use it for ETFs like the S&P or the QQQs. You can use it for stocks like Amazon to day trade the options or day trade the stocks. You can do it for swing trades. There's like nothing you can't use for it. Anything that has a gap you can use it for forex has one gap a week so it's you can't make money using it often but i mean literally there's so many things you can use it for <clears throat> now does anyone have any questions <clears throat> now let's go over again I was talking about risk units if you want to risk 300 bucks and your goal would be what your goal is always three risk units, whatever you're risking, but not every trade gets there. But if you're trying to get to the point of making $1,000 a day, you really need to be risking four or 500. But let's say you wanna risk 300. Fine, if you're good, you can still hit that mark. I would though suggest 400 to start out to try to get to the $1,000 a day. And I showed you how you can do that with the moves of 50 cents or 25 cents. But there are some trades like that VRX and even the GES went farther. If you want to hold them, you can make more than three risk units, more than $1,000. And if you get in the stock and you take 5,000 shares, for example, and it is a 10 cent stop and you risk 500 bucks, you can make five grand. So it's very easy to get to this number in your mind if you're thinking 20 grand a month, if you're like, okay, I need, I need three solid trades a month maybe four, got to keep myself under control, not lose, except for maybe one or two days, don't trade on days or crap, and in between, make whatever I make. Like, this is how you have to mentally grasp your head around it. Because you will have days that you make really good money. 
So the Golden Gap system gives you a high percentage success rate. It is a common sense system. It is a practical system. You can use it to do any of these other things. Then, of course, obviously, you're making way more than $20,000 a month. Okay? So it's, it's a, I'm just trying to help some of you who are in this, in this mental state of trying to grasp your head around the $1,000. It's not that crazy. Maybe the $20,000 in your mind is crazy, but break it down to $1,000. And break it, and if you can't grasp your head around that, break it down to 50 cents with 2,000 shares. Break it down to 25 cents with 4,000 shares. Whatever you need to do to mentally grasp it, because some of you are really struggling. And you think if you don't make $1,000 today, that's it. You won't achieve the goal. No, there was nothing to do today. Nothing, okay? Nothing. And even one of my traders is like, oh, you're making it so hard, Melissa. No, I'm not making it hard. I'm making it easy. I'm telling you, don't trade. There, it's easy. Wait for tomorrow. Kessler has a question. Hi, Melissa, is the system suitable for a spread betting account? <laughs> Excuse me, I don't do those. I do not do those. I would say, I would refer you to, I would refer you to someone in my room that's doing those, or even maybe my broker to ask about that customer. Because I personally don't want to talk uh, intelligently about something that I've never done. But I can refer you to people that have taken my class that maybe have done that, that would know, or even my broker. So email me after the webinar and I can refer you, okay? I don't wanna tell you yes or no, because I've, I've never done it. So trading is about winning, and so is life. If you're, if you're losing, trading, it can make you feel like crap about yourself, and if you're winning, it can make you feel great about yourself. You have to ebb and flow with the highs and lows, but ultimately your goal should be to make money by the end of each month. And it's tough if you're if you're losing and you're doing it for years and years and years. You don't, you got to just grab hold of that. And it may be just because of the fact that uh, you're in this addiction state, which we were talking about earlier. And you really got to go to my LinkedIn and and add me to LinkedIn so you can read read what I wrote. Art of trading is one of my traders. He's saying, "Don't think spread betting is legal in the U.S." Well, there you go. It's good I didn't say yes to do it. Art of trading. <laughs> there we go. I don't I don't know if I don't know if he's right, but he probably is because he knows his stuff. So let's talk about the Golden Gap course. The Golden Gap course teaches a 26 point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day, and that is your goal. The course also teaches you how to enter and exit the stock on the day. The course teaches price analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level. The course teaches a more proficient way to read support and resistance in the right direction. The course teaches you to focus on one strategy in a detailed manner so you can become a good trader because really that's how you're going to become a good trader. you got to have the focus. One trade a day is really all you need. The 26 points tells you what to do. You can do more if you want to, but one is all you need and that's the point I'm trying to make. And then you stop. Again, the addiction. If you if you had your goal in for the day, why would you take another trade? You risk, you risk the fact that you could lose and your goal in for the day is done. So every time you take a trade, you're at risk. <coughs> you have to have 100% conviction the trade that you like is going to work. And if your goal is in for the day, why continue trading? And you have to have a focus to make $1,000 a day consistently. So think about what I said. Be practical. Focusing on one stock a day like KBH on Thursday makes sense. And making money involves a plan of action. Using a specific strategy to trade, that's what you've got to do. So, if you are interested, you can learn my method. I'm telling you, anything is possible. Anything is possible. I, I started trading options this year, and I'm kind of getting my own strategy together for my plan for the second quarter this year to trade options. I had some huge profits in two option trades I took this year, and now I'm like, wow, I really can make way more money this year than I thought that I could in my trading by doing options and day trading. Anything is possible. And even my call in the market to even see a student have the potential to be able to risk $1,500 and make a half a million dollars is amazing. Anything is possible. You've got to believe that it is possible, okay? But you have to have the right strategy and method to make it possible. Now, this is just a testimonial from one of my students, but he said he agreed with me. He's not in the room. He's not trading with me. I, I, he did at the beginning right after the class, and then he went off on his own. Hadn't heard from him for almost a year, maybe more. And, and he emailed me how good he was doing. Trading with the focus. It just gave me the confirmation that this works. This is very often what people want. 
he didn't have a clear direction of strategy for making consistent profits before he met me. And then he did the class. He did the class in 2013, three years ago almost. And, and honestly, this is, this is the kind of stuff that I'm telling you, you can do it. I think a lot of people out there know that I can do it. I have so many videos and so many people have, you've been following me for a while and I do a lot of webinars with Online Trader Essential, but sometimes people think that they can't do it. Why, why? Because of your addictions? Get over your addictions, okay? Just rip the bandaid off of the addiction, okay? And decide that actually making money and doing well and being successful is more important than the addiction. So empower yourself to trade the market. I teach a class, it's called the Golden Gap Course. It's a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. That's what I do. Retakes are free and the class is online. The class is this weekend. It's Saturday and Sunday, April 2nd and 3rd, 9 to 5 Eastern Time. Okay? Now, the cost of the class is $39.99 if you sign up by March 31st, which is Thursday. The price is going up as of April 1st for the class. Any classes going forward in April or May or June will be $49.99. So if you have been watching me and wanted to do the class, this is a good class to sign up and take. The deadline is Thursday. It's this weekend, 9 to 5. I allow free retakes. So even if you can't do the entire class this weekend, if you want to sign up to save the $1,000, then you, know, you can retake it. You can retake it anytime. Sanjeev could call me even though we did the class in August 2013 and redo the class this weekend. And he wouldn't have to pay a dime. Okay. So a lot of people just have to grab their mental head around the idea of that they can do it. Because it's very easy to make four grand in one of my trade calls. Whether it's in one call, a week, a month in the room, if you do what I say. Now will you do what I say? I don't know. I don't know what kind of addictions you have. But I know that you could do what I say. I know that you could, and it's up to you to do that. Now I'm offering a spring special to help get you going. What is that? If you want to do the class and sign up by March 31st, I'm offering one month free in the live trading room. I'm also offering the swing trade letter free for one year. This includes long-term equity trains and option trade calls. So this is a good, good special. It's $16.98, you're saving. Again, this is over March 31st. So if you want to sign up, you get a month free in the room to take all my calls right after the class, the whole month of April. You get the swing trade letter free for a year, which will include some of the option calls. And, and you can do both the overnights then and the day trades and be in the room. Okay. Now, I also have a bullish gap class. This is next week during the day. This teaches you how to find bullish gaps. <coughs> Excuse me, similar thing. The class is going up on April 1st for this one too. So this class isn't until next week. I originally had the 5th, 6th, and 7th. I'm just put it to the two days because it's gonna be the end of next week. We'll get the whole class in in the two days, but this is just focusing on the longs. Bullish, bullish, bullish. But you got to sign up on March 31st to get the savings of $1,000 in this. But you still can get the swing trade letter free for the year and the month free in the room. And I teach another class called the Trends Course. This is a course on how to read trends and stock charts. Cost is $9.99. Email me at melissathestockswitch.com if you want to sign up for this. And if you want to sign up for both this trends and the gap class, whether bullish or bearish, pick one gap class and the trends. You can save 500 bucks. Again, though, this expires 331 which is Thursday this week and if you want to do both GAT classes which some people have already signed up for the bearish class the bullish class you get the room free for a month you get the swing trade letter free for a year and I also am giving a discount on both the classes so you'll save almost two thousand dollars this is a big big savings so you learn how to short and go long together and you pay 59.9850 and you'd also get the swing trade letter free, month free in the room, and you save like two grand. So don't forget about the spring special. It expires the 31st, all right? And really, for those people that have been following me, even if you think you can't do the whole class this weekend, just sign up. You can redo it anytime you want to. The deadline's Thursday. A lot of exciting things are happening with me professionally, my business, my trading, it's going to be a, an amazing year. It really, really is. 
and I've hired someone to start working with me April 1st that's going to help make all the things that I'm doing more accessible to people and much, much better for my traders. So, you know, I think it's just about people not being so short-sighted. Look at the bigger picture. Think $1,000 a day, but think practical. Don't trade when there's anything good. Your goal is in for the day, stop. If you make $900, stop. That's basically your goal for the day is in. If you make $2,000, you stop. That's double your goal for the day it's in. Pays for one day of a loss. You've got to be practical. Look at it in a bigger picture. By the month, by the week, by the year. And you will get there then. You will do it. Don't think about the cost of the class. Think about the fact that I'm teaching you something to train that's going to last you your whole life for day trading, swing trading, options, whatever. Don't be narrow-minded. Be practical. Be patient with yourself. Believe that you can learn how to do this. And part of it is also getting over some of your addictions. Trading is a serious business, and you can't be pressing the buttons and just taking trades willy-nilly all day. The live trading room is only open to join if you've taken the GAP course, whether bullish or bearish. But I do offer trials if you want to be in the room this week. And we should have some good stuff. Uh, there's some big names reporting earnings this week. I'm excited. Lulu is one of them. Okay, so questions from anyone at all? Let's just go back here and see. Anyone at all? Questions, questions, questions? Okay, here's my email. If you have questions or would like a live trial, email me there. Does anyone have any questions about anything else? Good group today. Good luck, everybody, with your trading this week. If you think of something, you can email me later tonight. Okay. All right, great. Thank you, Online Trader Central. Thanks for having me. You're welcome.